It's been a crazy week this week with the Detroit Lions. Got the victory in Lambeau Field and immediately start making roster moves on Monday. And Wednesday, we made some more. Now, we heard from Dan Campbell this morning, and that's where the original reports that Emmanuel Mosley and Ifitu Melifonwu, that their 21-day window had been open. But here's something we did not know. This is coming from the Detroit Lions Twitter account. It says they have signed Abraham Boplan and defensive lineman Chris Smith, and linebacker Ezekiel Turner to the practice squad. Again, that is something that we did not know. Now, Monday, we waived those individuals. We we brought, the, it was either, yeah, it was Monday because we were making room for the return of Jamison Williams and the eventual trade for Zadarius Smith. They were elevated. Both of those guys played on Sunday, I believe, or at least were, were on the roster Sunday. And then they were waived. They were waived. I think they were waived. They could have released them. I don't know. It happened two days ago. E either way, they were no longer on the Detroit Lions. And it looks like they signed them back. I didn't even realize that we had three spots available on our practice squad. So not only do we bring back those two individuals to the Detroit Lions practice squad, we bring in a third person. His name is Ezekiel Turner. Now, usually what I try to do is try to find any information I can about the individual. I try to find something from NFL draft buzz, NFL prospects. I could not find anything about this guy. But what I did find is that he was undrafted. He is 28 years old. Yes, 28. He just turned 28 in June, so he's on the way to 29, that he's a linebacker. And if this is the same individual, he actually played safety and strong safety in high school. So I don't know if he he was also undrafted. So I don't know if he converted kind of a situation like, remember, Derek Barnes was like a defensive end. Now he's playing linebacker. James Houston was a linebacker playing defensive end. Uh, 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 the prime example is Afitu Melifonwu. He was actually a cornerback. I believe it was Syracuse. He was a cornerback in Syracuse. And then when we drafted him, he converted to safety. And really last year was a standout. But I did see that this guy has spent – he has been in the NFL since he was undrafted. He spent his entire kind of career, a very weird trajectory this guy has been on. He's been, when you look up his name, he you a lot of teams pop up. The San Francisco 49ers, the Seattle Seahawks. And I was like, is this the same person that, that I keep finding? Because uh, they he goes by Zeke Turner on ESPN. But as you can see, last year, he played in 16 games for the Arizona Cardinals, 15 a year before that, 5, 16, 12, and 16. So he always finds his way back to the Arizona Cardinals, even though he has been on the practice squads of other teams. But when you play on or are on a practice squad, unless you play in a game, it does not matter. Now, here's something that's kind of intriguing. All right. This was the only thing that I could find for this year. He played for the Houston Texans, and I'm guessing he was on special teams. When the Houston Texans played the Minnesota Vikings earlier in the season, I think this was week three, and they got absolutely beat down. He was on the Houston Texans, but it's very weird because if you look at his stats, then down here, it should say, it should say right here, it should say 2024, maybe that, maybe special team, I don't know, it should say 2024, and then this should be Houston, and then it should be one game. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. But again, I'm not sure what's happening there, but this, I, I had to make sure it was the same guy. So not only do we bring back Abraham we bring back Chris just a few days after they were released from the Detroit Lions. We also bring in a linebacker, a strong safety that was looks like converted to linebacker, undrafted. I don't think this is a big deal. I think this is a special teams move. Anytime you have a, a spot on the practice squad, fill it. Why not fill it? Fill it with somebody. Because like Dan Campbell said, heading up to the season, these extra 16 guys are an extension of the 53-man roster. He said, we're going to need all the help we can get. And whether you come and go or run out of your elevations, then you know, you're know you still part of the roster. Speaking of running out of elevations, we are going to be out. This is Mohammed's third elevation, that his next elevation will be his third. We have not seen Isaac Uku in two weeks. This next elevation will be his third as well. Then you have to go through the process of waiving or cutting the individual with Isaac. He would have to be waived. Mohammed, I think he's been in the league long enough 
that he could be cut. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below about the addition of not only welcoming back Chris and Abraham, but Zeke. I probably will see if I can find some type of YouTube highlights on him and see what he did in college and what he's done in the NFL and tell me what you think about him. But Lions steady making moves, man. We got another guy that we're going to talk about probably after dark, a guy that I think that the Detroit Lions could look at as the season progresses to come in and help the pass rush. So it's going to be some changes, man, because again, with with I wonder if. Okay, so when Emmanuel Mosley and if he come back, they will be put on the 53-man roster. One thing about when you come back from IR, you cannot go to a practice squad. Like, you have to be put on a 53-man roster. So when that happens, who do you think could be the odd men out? They, they might not even currently be on the 53-man roster. They could be on the practice squad. But some changes, some moves are going to be made. You'll be surprised to know, I don't know if it's going to be James Houston anymore. It, it really depends on if anybody steps up between now and and then. The thing about that is, Mohammed, they really like Mohammed. They really do. If he can feel that James Houston role, then I don't know. I, I don't, I'm just, I don't know who else we can pick. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. We are on the brink. We are on the brink of 25,000. I am so excited. Let me check my studio real quick because I want to be in, be able to show you guys these numbers and see where we currently are. Bring them in so that everyone can see them. We are, I can't believe this. Let's get it. We are at 24,962 subscribers. One day I'm going to do this. One, I'm going to do this and it's going to change while I'm doing it. So you guys can, it's a very cool thing. This number right here will change. We are, we were 73 earlier today. We are now 38 subs away from 25,000 subscribers where we will be giving away the villain lion. You guys remember from when we hit 20 K we had the villain lion giveaway, the small black one with the gray backing. That was ironically not claimed. You'll be surprised. Last giveaway we had only one item was claimed. Yes. Only one. There were three winners. Only one item was claimed. So even though I put up two fingers, only one item was claimed. So out of all the giveaways, like it's like, why keep doing them? Because nobody's going to claim them. But um, yeah, only the one item was claimed. So let me know what you think. 25K, that giveaway. At 26,000. Uh, we're going to give away. This box is empty. This is mine. This is the one you see on the desk here at 26,000. Let me move this since I ain't getting sponsored by these companies. Quit playing, man. Quit playing, bro. We hit a million point two view, a million point two, one point two million views last month. I misspoke. I, it's it's one point two. I'll let your boy. So this right here will be given away. This is the one that went in this box. We will be giving away this at twenty six thousand. Shout out to Nate. We will be giving away one of these at thirty thousand. When I get to fifty thousand, I'm gonna give one of those away. So that might not be until next year. So be ready for that. But I appreciate you guys for. Supporting Detroit Lions Syndicate, a.k.a. Lions Syndicate. Thank you for YouTube for not uh, removing the channel because it was this close to getting removed. If you guys remember, David Pike lost the original Detroit Lions forum, and my close was my channel was very close to getting that same type of treatment. I actually had a channel removed because of impersonation last year. So thankfully, none of the Syndicate channels were affected, and I am super happy about that. So anyway, consider subscribing to the channel, man. You guys are the best. Why do I infuse some updates and it seems like every video because I honestly feel like man that you are an extension just like the practice squad is an extension of the 53 man roster I think you guys are an extension of this channel like real talk you guys are part of the channel so much so that I thought about this it's saying it seems super nar narcissistic but it's really not when I eventually hit 100,000 subscribers I was thinking about doing it like opening the the plaque like we meet and do a meet and greet or something because I feel like it's just as much yours as it is mine. And that's real talk. So consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for helping me get to where I am today. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. You can be anywhere else on YouTube and you choose to rock with me. And sometimes you choose to stay home and watch the game from home instead of taking an overpriced bus trip to go on a bus with a broken toilet. It's crazy. And as always, go Lions. <laughs>